Hey, I'm James Jean. If you haven't seen me before, I do archery trick shots, and these are my tips and tricks. Hey, how's it going? Today, I'm gonna to show you how to get started with instinctive archery. This is my primary method of aiming. Is it the best? I don't know. As far as moving targets, it is uh, quite up there with one of the best aiming techniques. And overall, you know, hunting, um, stuff like that, a lot of people use instinctive archery. A good thing to fall back on, especially when you gotta shoot quick and you know you don't have time to range it or whatever. Today, I'm just gonna kinda show you how to get started. Now, first you need a bow. It don't really matter what kind of bow you have. Um, with compound, you don't really need to do it, but if you wanna learn, you can do it. You can definitely do it with the compound. You can do it with all kinds of stuff that throws projectiles. But you know, you have a bow and get your basics down you know uh your basic knowledge of the bow you know where your hand should go where the arrow should go where should it rest uh to get started and another thing to know is kind of a basic understanding of the anchor point now there's plenty of videos the push guys have great videos on you know good form and everything back tension um, i'm not going to go real into it because i'm not the best with the form archery has to do with a lot of consistency try to do the same thing over and over and you should get the same results good or bad with instinctive archery, I like to have both of my eyes open. <clears throat> I'm not looking at the bow. It's in my peripherals. My main focus is on the target and where I want to hit. And it's typically faster for an instinctive archer to shoot than you know other type of archery methods. Because um, you're not really, you're not using your point or your arrow or anything like that. You're just kind of using your instincts, basically instinctive archery, uh, muscle memory has to do a lot with muscle memory and just a lot of focus. All right, whenever you get started, you kind of want to target up close because um, you will miss some arrows if you start out far <laughs> with instinctive archery. So try to get as close as you can without being in danger. You know, just make sure your arrows don't bounce back and try to hit you. Um, just make sure you got a safe area to shoot. Nothing's in the background that could potentially get hurt or damaged. Um, no people back there. Just, just be really safe with it. Basically, you're just focusing on a spot. So we got the bullseye right there on the target. I had to spray paint it because it's kind of wore out. I like to have my bow, you know, typically when people shoot uh, with a different type of aiming method, they like to have the bow vertical. For me, I like to have the bow canted a little bit. And when I mean canted, uh, tilt the bow a little bit so you have a better sight picture of the target. Now, this is just something you have to play with uh, after you get done shooting, just figure out you know what, how much, how much of an angle you need to tilt this bow. I mean, if you can shoot straight up, that'd be great. But I like to have it a little bit angled, especially with these throwing shots. It kind of keeps the arrow better on the rest. So let's pull back and shoot. Now, when you first get started, you're going to shoot. This is just an example. You're just going to keep shooting. This is all about mus muscle memory. You can't learn this. You can't learn this instantly. So you're going to keep shooting until you find find a group. All right, so we got one up here. You know, typically you just keep shooting until you find something and usually you'll find a little bit of consistency as long as you have consistent anchor point and stuff like that. Just, uh, we have two arrows in a group. Say your majority of your arrows are up here. All right, you're focusing on this target right here and they're shooting up here. At first, when you want to hit the bullseye, let's say we'll take that spot. Let's move it down here. Let's focus on this spot. So we're going to take that spot and uh, focus on it to hit the bullseye. So there's one shot right there. I got a busted up arrow. At first, instinctive archery is just all about problem solving. So we got, we got it in the black right there. So. That's the basic fundamentals of instinctive archery just to get started with. And it's just all about muscle memory. Um, like I said, at first, you might be aiming at a different spot to hit the bullseye. And uh, eventually, you just got to do some more repetition, take some time with it, shoot, shoot, shoot. And then eventually, what you're looking at is what you're going to be hitting. Uh, you just got, you know, you, you got to dial in your head, <laughs> basically. Uh, you know, you're not aiming with your bow, you're aiming with your eyes. And eventually, you'll get to the point where it's just natural, where you can just look at something and shoot it. 
and you know start out close and whenever you start getting better then start moving back you know no need to start you know from far away that's a good way to lose all your arrows but that's my tip for getting into instinctive archery if you have any questions uh please let me know but there'll be plenty more of these tips and tricks in the future thank you